Yo, what's up, guys? I like the video in today, man. I was talking about the Phoenix Suns and how they just swept the Denver Nuggets 4 0. Winning today 125 to 118, led by Devin Booker and Chris Paul. And Chris Paul's now officially eight games away from winning an NBA championship. Now, as a Chris Paul fan, this is literally the last thing that Chris Paul needs to do to cement his illustrious career, okay? If Chris Paul wins a ring, you gotta give him all the respect in the world, okay? He's had this great career, lost his career. This ring will cement all of that and he will get all his credit and all his deservance because what he's done in his career has not gone unnoticed and he deserves all the credit that he'll be getting if he wins the ring. Even if not, still had a great season and needs some more respect put on his name, okay? In my opinion, I feel like Chris Paul is without a doubt a top five point guard of all time, okay? All he needs to cement his career is to win a ring, okay? And if that happens this season, I will be ecstatic, okay? Chris Paul deserves this so bad and he's dealt with so many injuries in the playoffs when he couldn't win a ring with the Rockets, didn't win a ring with Lob City, with the Clippers, and now has a chance with the Suns to win the finals, okay? If he wins this, that would be amazing, okay? That would be literally amazing, okay, man? Now, back to the game, okay? Chris Paul today carried the Suns today. He had 37 points, 7 assists, 4 rebounds. Just balled out, hit a signature mid-range shot a couple times here and there. At a point, I believe he made nine consecutive shots. And yeah, this absolutely went up. Devin Booker's was his right hand man. 34 points, five assists, 10 rebounds. DeAndre Aiden, 12.7 rebounds. Mikhail Bridges today, 14 points. One assist, seven rebounds, doing his as usual 3 and D row. Timber J. Crowder today, uh, nine points, one assist, 10 rebounds. M. Johnson hit a couple threes today, seven points, three rebounds in 13 minutes. And this Suns team from head to toe was just an amazing team, man. DeAndre Aiden, Booker, CP3, Crowder, Mikhail Bridges, Cameron Payne, Cameron Johnson. Man, oh man. This Suns team is so stacked that they're not even using their top 10 pick, Jalen Smith, okay? We have not seen Smith get minutes pretty much all season. Because this team is that stacked and this overpowered, okay? GM James Jones did a great job with this team. And he deserves a much credit. As well as Auntie Williams, head coach. And by opinion, should have won coach of the year. It was Rob, but Thibodeau also was a great coach. So I'm not really mad about that. But Monty Williams, Chris Paul, James Jones, Devin Booker, the rest of the core. Great season for all of y'all. Now on to the Nuggets, man. Y'all have been having a great season. Yes. Y'all are without your star player. Jamal Murray with out with a torn ACO. But y'all still had a great season. It's sad to see y'all go down 4-0. I wanted to see a good series. And it still was a good series. It just wasn't sweet. But man, Jokic today got ejected on this week call. And here's a video of him getting ejected. Rebound collected by Bridges. Foul on Jokic. Down goes Payne in the cross. The face, and here we go. In my opinion, this was a flagrant one, okay? We did a paint was obviously not good, and obviously shouldn't be allowed, which is why he got a flagrant, but it should be a flagrant one, not a flagrant two, okay? He should at least play the rest of the fourth quarter. At least finish the season with him on the court, because we don't want to see the MVP of the league just get ejected the last game of the series. Elimination game, last game of his last game of his season, of his illustrious season with him and the MVP. Like, come on, man. Refs, man. NBA, step it up, man. What are y'all doing, man? But so Jokic today dropped 22 points for a 6 11 rebounds. Well, Barton today started today and at 25 points to assist five rebounds. MPJ today, 20 points, four rebounds. Monte Moore started today as well. 19 points, six assists. Eric Gordon had a pretty off game today, honestly, with eight points, four assists, six rebounds. Composito had a pretty good game today with 14 points and two assists. 
and I said that not much was given to the Nuggets, man. But yeah, Bjorkas got ejected. They were without Murray for the rest of the season with a torn ACL. So they had to rely on Will Barton and PJ to go off. And Will Barton was doing his thing, but he just can't carry a team as obviously because Will Barton obviously is a, is a pretty good role player, but not a guy that could carry a team, man. We tried his best. Shout out to him. Definitely played with his heart up, played with his heart in his chest, played a great game. Try to make his team advance to the next game, but Chris Paul and Booker and the Suns just thought otherwise, man. They were not going to let up and they wanted to complete the sweep today, which they did, man. But yeah, like I said, so happy for Chris Paul, man. He is eight games away from winning his first NBA championship, man. If he wins this ring, that would be truly amazing. For a guy that only last year nobody wanted, okay? This guy was on the OKC Thunder out of all teams because nobody wanted to trade for his new contract. People thought that he was falling off. Look what he does this season, man. The Suns go from last year not even being a playoff team to this year being in the Western Conference Finals, man. Like I said, shout out to James Jones, their GM, Monty Williams, their head coach, Devin Booker, their star player. And the new acquisition star player as well, Chris Paul, man. Man, so happy for Chris Paul, man. He deserves all of this and then some, man. This guy is such a great character, such a great player, and he deserves, like I said, all of this and then some, man, because he is truly that good and a living legend, man. Wow, man. Super, super great, man. Without a doubt, shout out to the Nuggets. Y'all played a great series. Even y'all did get swept. Y'all were without Jamal Murray. Y'all star player. So, tough, man. But y'all could still play pretty well. And y'all team played. I mean, y'all could have played better, but. The Suns are just honestly a better team. They have way better depth. That team is just insanely stacked from heads to toe. From starters to best. That team is just built correctly and built to go far. Which they're doing right now. So, so uh, shout out to them, man. But other than that, yo, that is the video. Make sure to go down below, drop a like, comment down below. So make sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. It's been your boy John. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And I'm out, man. Peace.